Welcome back <laughs> to another video on the FE4005. And as you can see in front of me are all the little bits and pieces that Jack has been painting and restoring, ready to refit. And we're gonna start in this episode fitting the main engine and basically as much as we can. So we're hoping to get the engine fitted, the water rail fitted, the fans fitted, pretty much right up to fitting the gearbox. And we've still got the rads to do, but we're gonna do as much as we can. So we better get on and do something. Right, well, this is the water rail that the engine bolts onto. One thing that we may have forgot once before is these bolts that come through the bottom of the water rail and hold the engine down. You need to make sure that they're in before you fit the water rail because the hull of the tank is there. And we, we forgot that once, didn't we? We, we did forget that once, yeah. <laughs> 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 We managed to get the whole engine in and then realised that we hadn't got those bolts in. But we don't want to make that mistake again. So they're in, they're ready. The bolts have been polished and perhaps they're the original engine hold down bolts and they're actually in good condition. So anyway, that is ready to lift in. Someone's managed to scratch the hell out of this. <sighs> we try not to damage as we put it in. We've got Teddy driving the forklift. He's the only one certified. Aren't you, Ted? about so to get, I'll get to the back end and they'll just turn it a bit because it's not quite straight uh, it's too much there oh it's go. straight in yeah. beauty right so you got four bolts at the back here two at the front and that is the water rail oh, the water rail the water rail, the water rail bolt it down then we can fit the actual main engine which will sit on these bits here these are the gear linkages, which we'll explain later. These are the steering link linkages. Mm, Jack's missed a bit of painting there. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're gonna have to touch everything up again. We are putting rags down, Jack's made a bed. We are trying our hardest not to scratch the interior of the engine bay, because we want this to be as immaculate as we can. So anyway, we shall fix these down, and then we'll get the engine in. Cake it on, what a bloke. Well, in 50 years, if we're still alive, we have to take it out again. Uh, everybody's told us we'll be dead by then. Well, that is true, we will be dead yeah. by then. So but for the next person, yeah, it'll be dead easy. Out. What you want to do is nice get it everywhere, that's it, perfect. You can't say that word. Oh, it went in. Oh, look at that. Uh, before you go too far, do the rest. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice work, nice work. Before I go too far, do what? Do the rest. Where you bolt that one up tight. Here he is, sports fans. Look at him go. Using a spanner when he's got a ratchet. Too slack for the ratchet. Oh, yeah. Just like your mum. I thought it was your mum. It is, but I can't say my mum. <laughs> That's the engine water rail. That's the engine water rail all bolted down nicely now with split pins in the nuts underneath. I have dropped the bolts down so the engine can go on and they're not going to catch. So you can see why you have to put them bolts in first because you can't get them in otherwise because the whole floor, unless you cut the floor out, which would be frowned upon. So now, engine time. That's the starter motor off. All the nuts and bolts back on there and they are shimmed. So don't want the shim coming off. I bolted it from the crate. Just got to get Ted to, oh, we lift it out. What do you reckon, Boo? Bit of forklift driving. Hey? What do you reckon? Nice. Yeah, that'd be perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up a touch, up a touch, that's clear. Yeah, you got loads of room on the roof.
Paul. Oh, he's a clever boy. He's clever. He's clever. Yeah. So that is the engine in. Nobody died. No fingers got caught. No, no. No damage. Oh, a tiny bit of paint scuffed is, at the back there. There is a little bit of scuffing, but nothing <sighs> awful. Let's try and shove the engine forward a bit, yeah? Where, when you say forward, towards the bulkhead? <laughs> towards me? Towards you. To yeah. the back then, you yeah. want to push him back? Forward a little bit. Right, that's one bolt in. Ooh, one bolt in. Right, Jack, what did you want off the bench? Um, well, you may as well put it down first and then get that pack of washers that's on the bench. Okay, I shall get down. Diddy. Oh, look at him go. Copper slip. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Get it in? Looks, yeah, she's in. Oh, yeah. Mm. I've, had, I've had a brown tip before. I, I don't want to ask. No, you don't want to ask. Why use the correct tool when you can use the wrong tool? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm right, using it. Hello, Pooh. Oh. Hello, Pooh. While Adam and Jack fitted the bolts to the main engine, I started about setting the main brakes up. One of these pins was slightly damaged, so I fixed that. And now I'm just going to put them all back together. With some slight guidance from Ted, I've got the shoes built up, ready to fit. That's the shoes now in place, ready for the drums. All the sliders have been greased, so they should all work nicely. Before we could fit the drums, it made sense to fit all the brake linkage, which Jack is doing now. And then we can put the drums on afterwards. So, there she is. All your brake, brake linkage in the back here runs under your gearbox. Obviously now you don't see it, but we painted it red because we thought it looked cool. And it does look cool. So. It protect it. Yeah. Um, all of these pins and everything. And bushes. We've had all of them out, clean them all up, and uh, copper slip can put them back in. All in here as well, these two and the one on that end, all done. Because they always so, seize up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've never gone to this length before, but this, it all moves and works beautifully now. So I'm well, I'm well happy with it all. So drums on next then? Yeah, drums on next, and then we can do water pipes from the back of the water rail. And then fans? That's quite good. And then fans, yeah. Oh no, header tank. Header tank, then fans. Then fans. Yeah. Gotta get, oh, what, what about the uh, bilge pump? A uh, bilge pump can go in whenever, mate. That's going in last, that's me pride and joy, that's <laughs> Oh, look at that, wearing protection. Right, remember to lift with your back, not your knees. These weigh about as much as an engine in this, I might grab. Go on, go on, look at him go, look at him blow out of his rear end. Look at him, what a chap. That's it, try and tread on everything so you get it all shot, that's it. Look at him go. Well, that doesn't actually look a million miles out there. Uh, you've got to go in, in at the bottom as well. I'm trying, I'm trying, Cap. Oh, oh, hang on. Going too far. You have gone in too far at the bottom now. That's it, now try and knock it on square. Look at him go. Look at him go, ladies He's and gents. There we go. There we go. We can ratchet and then we can bolt that uh, on. Hang on. Jack thought ahead. Oh, There's the posy ratchet. Do love this. Another good snap on product is yeah. the posy ratchet. I don't praise them very often. But Just all the time, but not often. Some things are good. Uh, if you want a nut, you'll have to reach them because I can't reach them. They're up there. I'm sorry, I've just kicked your paint on it. God damn it. Oh, that is bang on. Good bang work, on. good She's work. Mine. Look at you. Where are the yeah. bolts? In that bag over there. That one. Oh, yeah. Here you go. You got longer arms look how shiny brand new they look. Are oh, they yeah. new or are they? No, no, they're, they're shined up, mate. They're polished. They're, they're polished. The original bolts. Yeah, look at Jack has shined them to an inch of their life. They're probably so they're, they're probably a mil smaller than they were now. Just literally, no, no washers. No washers, just them. Just apparently. those things. Yeah. Would you look at that? Go on. We're rolling. Oh. Action. Oh, you wanted a photo? Oh, you wanted a photo? Oh, yes, bending over the tabs as well. Look at well, him go. Well, this is the brakes. The brakes don't work. We're all screwed. It's only a 52 ton tank. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how heavy it is. 
with the uh, it's not a, there's not 52 tons. Interesting to know how heavy it is with the uh, FD Portolay Sarge Torridor. Right. I think this could be one of the fastest Venturians. Probably. It should be pretty light, isn't it? I know the gun's going to have a bit of weight to it, but it's not going to be as much as a normal turret. Is it? No. Well, it's not as much as a normal turret. It's not the same as having a massive winch and two extra motors like an half. I did forget though that the, the rear sprag is going to be rather heavy. Uh, yeah, to be but fair, and <laughs> it won't be lighter than the barb, will it? Let's be honest. No, the barb is probably still the lightest. Mm. Uh, the next thing to do is fit the header tank into there. How hard can it be? Ready for filling with water then? Yeah, go get the water. I'll can. go get the water can. Good idea. What a beauty. Can't pop it into place. Lovely. Alright, so we got the water parts in. We've already got them, we can't see. Oh, Ooh. Just there, look, that one. And this one. Let's see under the gearbox. That's the one, that's the one. And now we're, uh, we've got to make these fit over them, so trust your Vaseline. <laughs> Surprised that he left. That's what I've got a glove on. Just got away from tension. And then we've got all the brand new, genuine Jubilee clips yeah, in yeah. here. I mean, you could just point the ones that the tire's got out. Oh, yeah. Because they're shiny and nice. Genuine, genuine, genuine. genuine. Um, Not like that yeah. rubbish on that T72, which is just basically a piece of tin foil with a corkscrew in the middle of it. Nice, nice. A clamp worm drive. <laughs> oh, she's starting to take shape. So Jack has got all of the water pints, well, majority of them all. Yeah, all the real ones. Ow, that was sharp. That is looking very posh. So now the next thing we're going to do is fit the fans. One in that corner and one in this corner. They're over there. So we shall do that now. We probably won't film it because we're on our own. So we'll do what we can. And we don't want to scratch anything. So we need all hands. But it's looking, it's looking good now, isn't it? <laughs> it's the exciting bit. And a bit of the contrast between what we've done and what we haven't. If you look in there, that looks like that's been through a nuclear fallout. The reason we've not done the fighting compartment yet is because there's going to be a lot of testing done. So once the engine and the gearbox is in, we've got to do a lot of testing. We're going to fit a fuel tank in the front there. There's going to be a lot of changing stuff to make that fit, running pipe work. Uh, we also want to make sure all the gear linkages, all the rods are all okay, which is in there as well. They all need grease and oiling. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen in there. And to be fair, it's a, it would it wreck it by, yeah, climbing in and out. So there's about a day's work of prep, probably a day and a half and painting. So it's not particularly, it's nothing that we're too worried about. What we're worried about is making this absolutely mint and work perfectly. Right, with that said... Let's get the rads in. No, the fans. Hello, Looney. That is one of the engine cooling fans. Just got to put the bottom plate on where it fixes to the lower hull before we put it in. Jack's ready with a copper slip. I've even got the year that these were manufactured on the washer. <laughs> it's awesome. Just when Britain was great. Yeah. We're not Great Britain anymore, but when this was built, we were Great Britain. We're subpar Britain. That's what we we're just mediocre Britain. Mediocre Britain. Let's turn the last few bolts up now. But that fan is in. We'll have to put the belts on. It's a bit of a mission. So the other thing we fitted is the cross brace, which gives the hull a bit of strength. Jack's just doing the oh, top yeah, bolts. Yeah, it gives it a bit of strength. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't that. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. But yeah, that's on now. And the oil cooler bolts to that, I believe. And yeah, the, the deck's cooler. locked down to it. Not like I think that matters, but uh, yeah. But I didn't video doing it because it was too much of a 20 hand job. But the, uh, the fan, fan belts are now on. Ooh. Next thing Wait. is the alternator I'll slash generator. Belt, which is always a fun job. It's, so. it's, it's a grand job, that. Yeah, and we've got to try and do this one without scratching it. Sat far enough away from you. Well, I'm trying not to get me breathing in it. Jack was huffing and puffing in the last video, so we're about to retake this. Anyway, so we have now fitted the alternator. It was an absolute pain, generator, whatever you want to call it. And that's all we've got time for in this video. In the next one, we hope to fit the 
air cleaners, the exhaust manifolds, the oil tank, the gearbox, the radiators, the vents at the back. And we'll nearly be ready to do a trial run. We can't start it yet because we haven't got the oils yet from the tank museum. They're coming when the turret comes. And that's supposedly coming the end of this month. We're only two months late. <laughs> what? I hope you're all enjoying this project anyway, and we're getting on quite well. We're still pretty, pretty certain we're gonna have it ready for Tank Fest. Well, we're gonna make sure we have. It's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna be ready. The other thing we should probably add is the engineer who is redesigned from the original proper blueprints has made all the rear frag, which we probably spoke about in the You've shown video, but the last video, yeah. That's looking fantastic. We've got to prep the back end ready for him, the back end so he can come and weld on the, the linkages to bolt that all on and sort the uh, front end out, clean a few bits ready for putting the gun crutch. So it's all gonna be kicking off in the next episode. I say it's gonna be quite busy on this. There's gonna be a lot going on. There's gonna be heavy fabrication. The rest of this, we've got the tracks turning up. I'd like to get the tracks on. We've then got to put the side plate, the, the trap guards, the sponsors, whatever you wanna call them. They've all gotta go on. They all need drilling and painting and they're going to be a pain. Yeah, the boxes, the bin, the side boxes, they've got to be restored, some with slightly rusty. So there's a lot to do. And that's not to mention that the turret, we need to work out a traverse gear, an elevation system. And how long have we got? Oh, I don't even want to think about it, to be honest. It was but, 11 weeks the last time I thought about it, and that doesn't seem enough. And, and Jack's going on a honeymoon. A honeymoon? And Jack's going on a honeymoon for a month, so I'm going to well, no Jack. No, it's only, it's only two and a bit weeks, oh. not a month. So he's going on honeymoon for a year, um, <laughs> so nothing's going to get done in that time. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you again in the next one. There you go.